Damai. So, uh, Samuel, uh, you are once again welcome to the Empowerment Series. Thank you very much. Uh, great. And so, you, you, you heard Smith. Smith decided to take the thing from the entry point. Hello, Wilfred. Yes, Samuel. So I, I was just saying that uh, Smith decided to tackle the team from the entry point before even uh, uh, building the momentum. I don't know what your perspective on the subject would be. Uh, so let's let's hear, hear you out. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, I will speak as an engineer from this perspective. Uh, when we call momentum, then we are calling something relating to force and time, or we are calling something in relation to mass and velocity. So if we actually are calling momentum here, I'm actually looking at how you remain relevant in the changing times. That is what we are talking about with that career momentum. Um, what uh, we got from Smith is perfect, and it's actually preparing people to, be, to stay relevant in the industry. But what I want to actually talk about this evening is you trying after we have actually mounted the career path, becoming relevant in the time with the changing uh, 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 climate in the industry. What it is is that you will see a lot of people who start their career and they stay fit to what they do. But after a time, you see them falling out because they have not updated themselves. Hello, can all of you hear me? Yes, yes, some. Yeah. Okay. So after some time, you will see that people are falling out of fashion. They don't really belong to the updated environment. See, and as Smith was talking about, you fall out so easily because either you have not updated something or you yourself have not updated yourself, have not added a lot of fat to yourself, even though we have changed from wet season to dry season, yet your CV is still a uh, picture something in the dry season, not the wet season course. or something like that. We're all in the and that is exactly what is it's affecting whatever. most of the people or most of the, the uh, professionals we see today. You see that he's oh, yeah, actually yeah, out of yeah. date. They have changed some protocols in the system which is not updated. Uh, he doesn't see any need for him to actually look into um, the changing climate and following as such. And that is really making people wash cold and become something like stagnant. And for that matter, if Smith is looking for somebody with this requisite experience, and you will see that the guy had been there for years, yet he hasn't actually had what it takes for him to climb up the ladder. And that is exactly what is affecting a lot of people these days. Now, in my own view, I think that how you would, what you will do to, for you to stay relevant is for you to look at the changing times and what it demands. I remember one day I was rewriting my CV and I called Gideon, that Gideon, this is what I want to write. Can you have a different talk to this. And he looked at what I've written and also he chipped in some few things which actually made it relevant in the times. 
And that is what we are talking about here. You have been an engineer who has been in the system for four years, doing the same routine things, haven't even looked at uh, over your shoulder to look at other things that are emerging for you to either add certain uh, credentials to your own or steady to add some inputs or add some facts to your own self. And when it comes that we go into an interview and somebody asks you some questions that is even pertaining to your soul, which you are not abreast with, and you see you are struggling. And that is really something that we have to look at in these changing times. Look, it is very similar to we having COVID around, okay? Did we prepare ourselves for the COVID? Did we prepare ourselves to have some shocks in the system or what did we actually do? But it shows the whole world that we did nothing to set ourselves for this COVID. We have not prepared anything, whether medically, psychologically, socially, or something like that. We have not never done anything. And when the pandemic came, you see how we struggle. This is the same thing we see. Uh, we see with our career these days. We don't look over our shoulders. We don't update ourselves. We don't do anything. Our CV since 10 years had remained the same. Smith is telling us we should even update our CV the first day we actually ent uh, entered the office or the first day in our office, we should actually start updating our CVs. How many of you have been doing that? And it's because we don't see the need for us to do that because we have already landed a job. And that is really a hurtful one to me. If I take myself, for instance, every now and then I am looking at what I can do to stay relevant in the industry. I was young, but I was doing everything, writing the uh, professional examinations. I was doing short courses here and there. I was looking around to see what other areas I have not explored and haven't gotten what I needed. I had to make time for myself to add these other areas to my CV. I had to go to South Africa for a lot of uh, supervisory and management courses. I entered everywhere I should or I ought to do to ensure that I, I added something onto myself. And that made me stay relevant in the times. When people were interviewing me, they looked at my age and they were asking the question, ah, uh, how come you have done this and that and that even at this age? And it is because I looked over my shoulder to see what I needed to add to what I had already. And that made me stay up to task or up to date with times. Like my definition as an engineer said, I said, momentum is force in and change in time, force in the changing times. So what do you have to do as a person to really add this? Though the times will be changing, what force are you going to use or are you going to exert to, to stay up to date? or up, uh, to stay relevant in the times. And it is that, like uh, Smith is saying, we can't exhaust this topic today, but uh, it opens a whole chapter for us to look at ourselves and what we can do to help ourselves to stay relevant. You can't, you can't really think that the employers should rather be calling you up or the employer should be showing you the way. You have to rather show the employees the way they should cut their, they should cut their search or they should even 
uh, put up their adverts and they should be selecting the people because if we needed two people in the department and uh, we actually floated some adverts and we had a thousand people applying, it is a big task for the employees to actually see and get this like five candidates for 